entire right butt cheek just hurts so much. And it is snowing. 40 grams of protein. Mic'd up workout for you guys. Good morning and welcome back to the vlogs. It is about 7.30 a.m. I just went downstairs and made myself a coffee. Sorry for my raspy voice. This is what it sounds like at seven in the morning. I would normally hit the gym at seven, but I did a really disgusting hard glute workout yesterday with my friend and my entire right butt cheek just hurts so much. And partly it's not just because it's sore, but I do have a lower back injury and I really should not be going that hard with my glute days, but I have been because those are the only days I'm, I can actually do in the lower body. Like I can't really squat right now, leg press, like all of those I can't do. So I was like, you know what, let me just demolish the glutes. And now they don't feel very good. So I'm going to just pretty much stay home and work. I am going to actually show you what my morning routine looks like. So first thing I get up, I make coffee, and then I'm going to journal. I have not been journaling. Let me show you. I have not been journaling in my five minute journal in quite a while. And so I'm gonna try to get back on that because I think I need it. I think my mental health needs it. Today's quote is, when it comes to mastering a skill, time is a magic ingredient. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Kate now wants to be to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine. It is freaking snowing outside. It's the last day of January, um, and it is snowing, <clears throat> which I'm actually kind of excited about because the weather has been not cold the past few days, which is strange because usually we get another snowfall in January, February. And that also means snowboarding season is going to be pushed back a little bit more if it stays cold and it snows. Let me show you what it looks like on the side. It's so pretty. Very little. There's obviously a roof cover. Just made breakfast. I made some bagel with this cheese butter looking thingy. I think there's some garlic in there. And then I made an omelet. Um, this is similar to what I made last week in my week of... I mean, in what I eat in a day. So if you want to know how I make this, um, you can go watch that video. I'll link it up in the cards. And this breakfast has about like 40 grams of protein. I'm going to enjoy this and watch a bit of YouTube and then get back to work. This is by far my least favorite part of winter is when your car, you need to take into account shoveling off all the snow. But it's kind of satisfying because the snow is so soft. And there we go. We are off now to go see my clients. It is 4.56 and I need to be there by 5.30 so I have more than enough time. I just like to account for the snow and the road condition. I don't know what it's going to be like, but it's freezing! I'm just waiting for my car to heat up a little bit. I'm excited. I just have two clients tonight and then I'm going to come back home. It's supposed to snow more tonight, so I'm just hoping it doesn't start snowing until I get back home because there's big hills I need to drive up and down to get back home and I want to avoid that. I really didn't end up filming much today because I just genuinely just sit at my desk and work like a nine to five job. I think tomorrow I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow and hopefully I will get a workout in the morning and then I could show you at least a workout. I haven't shown you guys an updated workout routine in a while and I know I said I was gonna film that week of workouts which I am. I'm just waiting for my lower back to heal more before I do that so that's why. Let's go to the gym um, and train my hands.
getting tired of the waiting. You gotta wake me, open my eyes. Thought I would fill you in of what happened. I was gonna show you my nails after I got it done, but I was kind of in a rush, so I'll show you a bit better. But I just ended up panicking and just going for can't even can't even see it. So I went for a neutral color with a bit of pink for February and Valentine's Day, I guess maybe and then we went to a cafe did a bit of work and now we are at the gym i am going to hit an upper body day i think i'm gonna do a push day so chest shoulders and triceps i will film it and i also brought my mic that way i can do like a mic mic up workout for you guys instead of doing a voiceover i think that would be more fun i've had this a mic for a really long time, I've just never used it because I've been shy to film in the gym. But I'm going to be brave and just take out the mic and film it. So if you want to see more mic'd up workouts, I've posted a few on my Instagram. So you guys can take a look at that. I'm just on the Stairmaster. Oh god, I'm already tired. It's only been a minute. You're just talking to Yeah, I know. I'm talking too. <laughs> I'm going to get the mic set up hopefully it should work i bought like an extra adapter that way it can connect to this camera because the g7x doesn't have an external mic port so we'll see if that works and then i'll run you through my upper body workout which i'm excited but first let's get warm oh god i love lori Wong. I know I said I would do a mic'd up workout, but turns out the adapter that I got for the camera is incorrect, so I wasn't able to hook up my mic, so here I am doing a voiceover instead. And then also, when I was starting to bench, I could not find my AirPod Pros. You can see early in the clip that I took it out of my ear to film the intro part, and I guess I left it on the Stairmaster. So for five minutes, we were all panicking trying to find that. But here I am warming up with just the bar. I worked my way up to a new PR. I tried to hit 110 pounds for about three reps, but as you can see, I only got it up for two reps, which is totally fine. I'm really trying to focus on my bench because I currently cannot squat or deadlift because of my back. So I'm just trying to make do with what I can. On to the next. <laughs> Then we moved on to shoulder press, seated to shoulder press. I did four sets of 10 using these 30 pounds and we did not superset this. They ended up being quite challenging. When setting up for the shoulder press, you want the seat not fully at 90 degrees, but one degree down. And then think about keeping your elbows a little bit more in front of you. You don't want it straight out 90 degrees out of your body because you're gonna find that it's really hard to engage the correct shoulder muscle. You can see Jenny here is doing the same thing and she was not pushing herself so here is Jason and I telling her that she definitely needs to go heavier for the second set which I believe she did. Then we moved on to incline chest press hitting a bit more chest. I believe we did three sets of again 8 to 10 reps. Warming up with the 30 is working my way up. I believe I tried to do 35 pounds for 10 reps. We superseted this with some incline dumbbell back fly. These are my absolute favorite these days. Ideally, you want the incline to be one lower, but exhaling as you bring the dumbbells back, squeezing your shoulder blades together, you are going to feel that after doing at least 12 to 15 reps is what we aim for. Then to wrap up our workout, we ended up doing one more superset. So we did chest fly machine. Again, three sets of 10 to 12. I found that when I'm doing this, really think about dragging the chest fly machine together. So instead of just exhaling and like trying to use force to bring it together, drag it in and drag it back all throughout the motion. You're keeping tension. And I find that to really work the chest. I feel it so much the next day. And then we superseted that with some single arm dumbbell lateral raise same thing here exhaling drop your shoulders think about lifting up with the elbows rather than the hands and you want to keep the dumbbell where you can see your hand in your peripheral vision when you're looking straight so don't bring it too far out because that's going to start engaging your back muscles keep it in front of you <laughs> That 
brings us to the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to press the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. I love you guys. I will see you in a couple days for another video. Until then, bye.